never before have I been so ashamed to, to know that this person I'm just about to speak about is, my, in fact, my son. He calls himself Liam Tufts now. This is him. That's not got the sound at the moment of time. This is him at Crawley Hospital. It will show you. You'll see a, a thing in a minute up on the wall. This is him the night before last. He went after a nurse. He's gone into a, into a, yeah, he's put it up himself, like a Crawley Hospital, uh, and suddenly made the flats where I used to live, right? He's gone after a nurse. He's in there to um, speak to a nurse's boss because this woman called Karen, she supports me and won't have his bullshit. She's known me since I was younger. We don't know each other greatly, but she knows enough about me and, um, because she's chosen to take my side of things, to be my friend, to take my side, not to believe Liam's molestation um, accusations. Look at him walking around with a fucking t-shirt and Pete Gillette nonce case. What was, he's 36 years of age, this cunt. He's 36 years of age and he's walking around with a t-shirt and Pete Gillette nonce case. Look, and quite happy too. He is absolutely barking mad. I'm going to talk to the health authorities and see if I can get him sectioned. He needs sectioning. He's a danger to society, he's a danger to himself. Look, there he is outside Crawley Hospital, right? This is fucking disgusting. Especially when you work out, only the day before, this man was at Crawley Hospital. This man after the same nurse, okay? He's been nicked and he's been bailed out. Under restringent conditions, he has to sign on. But that doesn't stop him, this man. This man last night was, in fact, outside someone else's house. When we get up here. This man's um, crazy about masks and stuff like that. Oh, look. And Liam's on his feed. Look, he loves, brilliant. He thinks Liam's brilliant. And there he is outside my friend's house last night. Look, it says, message to the pastor, the man of God. One, two, Fred, he's coming for you. These are the people that my son associates with. Right, there he is, he, he got his videos up, and he'll go, oh, but Liam, when he was making that video lot yesterday, when he was making that video, he actually referred to this guy coming and justified that man being outside terrorising a uh, a nurse, because she has it with my dad, you know, and, and he, if I was eager, son, that justified it, and there he is outside past the Stan's house, okay, last night, five o'clock, He's, uh, he's obsessed with foot. He says he's outside my house there. He's supposed to be outside my house. There's not my house, a fucking prick. <laughs> he's supposed to be outside my house there. He planted that oh, bit of Pete's house as well. Right. Look at him. He's associated with this man, this piece of scum. We think he's the same person. He's trying to say I've got a bad knee. There you go. Trying to give excuses. But obsessed with, look, obsessed with, with, with masks and terroristic fucking type behaviour. Obsessed with it. Here, uh, Ellen Jacks Pierce Mayor Charlie can send me a card if he likes. Uh, pure, pure dickhead he is. Still waiting on the call. Robert Graham Stalker. Charlie Rainey, he's now friends. As I said to you the other day, Charlie Rainey, you Scottish lot, Charlie Rainey got friend by these people. Tony Camper, I put it in a video the other day. Tony Camper sent me a message this morning at 20, probably drunk. 20 past 12 in the, the night, I was asleep. Well, 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 I have all the mighty fall. Uh, your, your embarrassment twat. You called me everything you mong. Me and Charlie Rainey are good friends now. Ha! You wanted to shoot a lol, P. Shoot a P. Shoot a P. It would be lonely this Christmas without you for the help for heroes money. Because they're on about our, our, our still money from charity, these lot. Um, in fact, it's become uh, the new funkle point of Liam. Liam's... Um, I'm sure it's on here somewhere. Oh, look, there he is. Look, Liam's lunch case. Oh, hang on. I think that's where he's going on about help for heroes. Isn't he? Yeah. Look at Liam. Um, I'll be selling these T-shirts. He wants to sell T-shirts for help for hero. I'm sure they'd be fucking pleased to see that. Help for fucking hero with uh, with Pete's little nonce case all over it. And he's accusing me in this write-up on his thing of um, accepting money one suspected dishonest doing was accepting checks from gullible followers of the internet, claiming all the money 
would be denoted to help for the heroes. He insisted the checks. Well, actually, I did do a um, fuck off. I did do a um, an appeal for help the heroes. I was uh, wanted to uh, people to send me toner cartridges because I collect toner cartridges. I do it on behalf of another charity. They get money out of it. Another charity gets money out of it. Um, but I did it for Christmas time to try and get money for help the heroes. Um, when I did the first uh, appeal, the next day Facebook closed me down. As you know, as far as I concern, Facebook are run by Muslims, and because I was trying to make money for uh, raise something for help the heroes, because I do anti-Islamic uh, videos, they closed me down. They didn't even tell me what they closed me down for. As it goes, I just got closed down for 30 days. I then done another appeal and asked again. Well, one man sent me a check for £20, but I was after toner cartridges, and uh, the check I put online, uh, put a picture of it online, um, it, encouraging anybody else to try and help out, but that's the only check that I actually got. Um, Liam's not producing people I'm supposed to have fucking, I'm supposed to have ripped off and have complained, and he says on there that they have uh, asked me, insisted, and I've refused to tell them, where does it say that? says there, if we can provide proof, blah, 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 um, despite being asked countless times, ah, despite being asked countless times to provide proof. Now, uh, the only person who's actually asked me proof to, to, to is Liam. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not here. For this fucking crazy cunt, he thinks he can have a fucking witch hunt with me online, right? And then I'm supposed to be... Um, uh, What's the word? I'm, I'm supposed to be a, a answerable to the fucking prick about charity. Well, you know, as he insists, let's go in here. Oh, look, bottle of wine, turn out Ollie. Charity, charity, right? I don't want to be flash, but yeah, I do collect money and it goes to a charity, donation receipts. There you see that. I've so that my address is, oh, that's my old address anyway that you see there. But uh, I've covered my address up, you see my name in it, Gillette. Right, all different sums of money they've had off me. Oh, there's another load over here, look. Another load, cancer research. There's all the till receipts and stuff that I go in. There's another load here. Uh, donation, cancer research. You know, and the dates, any of the dates. Um, that's the 14th, that's the 14th, that's the 14th, I think we saw that one's the 14th, yeah, just get them under here, the 15th, yeah, uh, the 16th, let's get these fucking dates in the 16th, 15th, just randomly, 15th, yeah, over here, oh the 13th, Year 13. So we do it sometime, right? <laughs> Regular clock without giving money. But you don't do it for fucking, you don't do it for, for praise. You don't do it for fucking medals. Oh, some more over here. The 16th. Right, you don't, you don't, who does it for fucking? It's not very clear that one, is it? There you go. 16th. 16th. Fucking, but you don't do it for, you don't give money to charity to give it a big one. But the Elf for Heroes, see, the Elf for Heroes, was, I was going to be helped by my friend Jan Wiley, the disabled woman. She'd join in this video and I'd have gone up and done it with her, but she's so terrified, this disabled person, of Liam, because Liam, like, he went into the person's work, he's threatening to go into my friend's work, he's threatening them with violence. You've all heard him threaten to go when he goes mad, he does his videos, threaten to come after them all, so she can't get in here. But yeah, we were going to do that together, the Elf for Heroes. I've got one check from 20 quid from some bloke, and as it goes, there's a um, a company, I think they're called AME, A-M-E-Y, on Crawley Industrial Estate, they collect for help there, as I actually, because it was just the one check I had, I stuck the check in their fucking collection box, and uh, I'm going there this week, but I, yeah, I stuck the, the, the 20 quid, but the uh, you will notice that it's only Liam, it's only Liam making, uh, um, trying to make something, He's run out, he's, he's, he's kind of like, he's, he's changing theme from being molested now down to I rip charities off. <laughs> I rip charities off. <laughs> really? Really do I? Rip charities off, yeah? Rip charities off. 
Yeah, look at all the dates. I rip charities off. I rip charities off. What's a fucking scumbag? See what it, I will, it has to be said. I'm sorry that I'm having to fucking show these fucking things, right? But it has to be said. Only a fucking low life. Only a fuck. It's all over the shop. Receipts all over the shop. Yeah. Only a fucking low life. I don't break. I don't go around fucking telling people what I do. They give it a fucking large one. It's wrong. He's having it with fucking camper. Campers are mate of his. They're all got friends with Charlie. Now, I did see the other day, Charlie Rainey from Glasgow. These people, Liam and his mates, they threatened fucking uh, Charlie's children and his friends of them. He tried to get, I put in a video the other day that he asked me to, I actually reported to a camper for, um, uh, for stalking him. You know, here's the fucking crime number for it. The big crime number, you see, it's like, see, there's loads on there. The big crime number, let's take this in here. The big crime number, that's the one I had against Liam, but yeah, there it goes. Camper, Stroke, Wendy, PC Wakefield, a date of Mar Norfolk. That's the, that's the crime number we had for that. Okay. It's all there. Camper. That's the man I'm talking about. Last night, he's the professional stalker, he's our camper. And these are the type of people that my son have got wrapped around him now. Because my son's lost the fucking plot and thinks he's a little terrorist. And he actually, on the video, you watch the video, he actually okayed this behaviour, this bloke turning up after this nurse Karen. This is okay behaviour because she believes me and not him. That's what it boils down to. That's all it is. Now, I've had loads of you contact me, loads of people. In fact, my best friend, after this video that he did out going to the hospital, my best friend came down yesterday morning, out of the blue, came down here at fucking... Um, yeah, past eight in the morning yesterday. This bloke is obsessed. Yeah, there he is. Is that? That's the video outside the hospital. He's an obsessional cunt. Happy Halloween, a fucking prick. Look at the way he treats me. Oh yeah, look. This is the, this is me asking Charlie Rainey for a shooter. Yeah. Look who he does, yeah, look, Wendy Matthews, look, Wendy Matthews, lovely woman, she supports me, look, he's, he's defying her, she's someone on call, that, this is so, he's calling her son, this is on his Facebook account, right, this is so, uh, when I heard that this, what, a disgraceful dog of a dog's discharge supporting a paedophile, she's not supporting a paedophile, she's supporting me, she's known me years, right, she won't have it, she knows where I lived, she knows that I, I, I was only with Tasha's fucking mother, for five, six weeks in her house. She knows that. She knows where I was living. She was part of fucking, part and parcel of Rat Ramy at the time. Anyhow, let's play this video. For a little lime and soda. And when I went there, the barmaid that served me, she had these big ringlets and two or three different colours going through her hair. She served me a drink. I looked at her and said, your hair looks really nice. I'll say that again. I said to the barmaid, your hair looks really nice. Now, I don't know where she came from, but when someone says, your hair looks nice, that's a compliment. But this barmaid looked me up and down as if I was a piece of shit. Now, by the way she looked at me, you'd have thought I told her that I wanted to suck a fart out of her sister's arsehole and blow it back in her face. It was a look of disgust. I carried on, I finished my drink, and then I left. And as I'm leaving, I heard her tell the other barmaid, he'd be so lucky. Ah, he'd be so lucky. I never said I wanted to pulverise her pussy. I told her her fucking hell at night. I didn't tell her I wanted to finger blast her minge feet or stab her in the fart box with my dick. I never said I wanted to violate her vagina. I never told her I wanted to spit on her tits, nibble her clip, fuck her in the throat, or if I could cover her with cum. I never asked her to hold my dick and squeeze my balls, or piss in my mouth. I never asked her to 69 in the park. And I never asked her to wank me off over her forehead and punch me in the bollocks as I come. I said, your hair looks nice. This is the way he talks about women, and then has had this hate campaign against me, like I'm a, some disgusting, vile pervert. Now, a lot of his videos are like that, where he talks like that. He violates people. There's another friend of mine. Yeah, look, he was a, when I heard someone was messaging my friends defending a pedo, I thought it, was, uh, it, it, it must be someone with severe learning difficulties. When I look into it, was, uh, and I was absolutely sure if I see it was a fully grown man. That's my friend Elaine. You know, that's the way he talks about people. He is fucking disgusting. Absolutely fucking disgusting. Yeah. She he, she's horrified fucking way she's been violated. And this uh this uh, stalker, Fripsy, he's been to her house. He's been he went to her house the night before he went to the hospital. Probably might even have something up on it on his war about it. I don't know, I've I've not checked. 
But look, he's absolutely... This, so, this, Michael, this is not his real name, Patrick Fripps. We believe his real name to be Dan Hall. He goes under the name of Alexander Fix as well. You know, look, defining... It, it, but, you know, look, it's, it's all about mass. You know, let's, let's click on here. Well, the now, where am I going? Wales or Preston? Where am I going? Wales or Preston? That's after Stan or Elaine. And as you can see, the fucking scumbag has actually been to both. Both places and Crawley Hospital. Right? Oh, there's another one of the, the fucking charming things that there's... What's going on here? Come on, play, you fucker. Play. You know, something wrong with that. Not quite sure what's wrong with that. But it won't fucking play. But this guy's obsessed with these talk people talking with masks and fuck knows what. These are the people that Liam has it with. Yeah. Yeah, more... These are the people that he has it with. What's on here? Hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. Hmm? Yeah. These are the, <laughs> this is all encouraged, encouraged by my son. This is all Liam's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I have to tell you, these fucking pricks, not one of them bother me. Uh, <laughs> fucking, you look at me, we're not I'm scared too easy. Yeah, fuck me. They came round my house, they'd be fucking shocked. They wouldn't go home. They would only go home in a box. I've got to tell you, if they came round my fucking place, they'd go home in a box. But this is it. Tony Camper, 12 o'clock last night. Known stalker. There's his fucking crime number. Thing on a crime number. He first of all stalked my friend Wendy Parker's next girlfriend of his as well. And um, and beyond you, he gives one sympathy because his missus has got cancer. I've got no fucking sympathy for her. I don't even believe him anyway, but I've got no sympathy for her. The fucking idiot. Piece of shit he is. And um, the things he's done. And she's fucking stood by him. Even sent me a friend's request under her fucking name a few months ago. But yeah. Now then, when Liam went to the hospital, when Liam went to the hospital to go and see Karen's um, boss, he gave her a, uh, a, 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 a video, edited video of bits and bobs from my, um, my videos of himself, which as far as he concerned, me confessing to things. Like, for example, when I said about the... Um, uh, when I did the, the thing about the bath, when he accused me of being in the bath with Natasha, I explained to you all that, I've done a video, I explained to you all that, yes, she ran the bath. I jumped in her bath when she was in her bedroom to wind her up because we just got back from football. He's teased her, said, get in there. She's called down to her mum. Mum, she's in my, he's in my bath and all that. Anyway, she's jumped in the bath and I've had to fucking jump out. Her mum's come out and she went, fuck us. She, she, I've gone, gee! She's fucking jumping in the bath and she's come out oh, for fuck's sake, stop winding her up. We just got in from a fucking freezing cold day from football and I was refereeing a football match. Yes, and I'd already had a shower. But he's edited this thing, right? And he's very clever at this kind of stuff. I will remind you of a little video I had to make myself and put on my YouTube account, which is Pete Gillette One, right? You can go on this Pete Gillette, go in there and see this in its entirety. We just have a. I haven't got the. Um the technical skills that like my son has to make uh, one of his videos chop and change so it's going to be a bit rough this one this has been out on facebook whilst i'm on band baby's happy about the 24 hours so i can't reply to this so there you go look i celebrate party enjoy well-being don't think you like i'll be 15 i go war if you was here i'd like to be make love to your day shame you're not far away you're so far away making me look right nonsense i can't right reply to reply can't reply to anything um, it's so frustrating that the person that's called me about it, Angela, 
But she goes, I've, I've no choice but to delete you. She's been waiting for me to reply all day, but of course I can't. I know I've, I've had it put up on Facebook, but I'm actually on the band. Some people are too dumb to read fucking anything else. And if I'm not, if I'm not um, posting up, something must be wrong. There you go. So she asked for an explanation and nothing. Okay. So they know what they're doing, Davey and my and my son. Who think they're not stupid. And um, but they've got this. See, they've got this thing here. About that. They got that from this thing. They got it from uh, a conversation that I have had that they've got to. I'm going to show you the doctor, mate. I can I'll get back in here. So you know it's that the same one. But well, here's at the bottom. After the, I will be 15. Too young for you, sir. Right? Okay. Night. Nice. Just notice that. Just under there, the two young night bit, I'll be 15. I wish, and I'll put, oh, if I wish you was here and all this shit, I wish I was with you. I'd make love all day. Now then, let's go to the real conversation. That desperate day, because I put up forms yesterday that Davey was arrested and nicked for a, um, a uh, 15 year old girl. I'll get to the part of the conversation we've just covered, okay? Here we are. The real conversation. What don't see, what don't. Um, but you can't lie. I celebrate quite if you enjoy well being. And I think thumbs up. I don't think you like. I'll be 15. Too young for you, sir. You want older woman. And I'll be 15. Oh my god, you are too young. I can't talk to you on here. I have a rule no under 18. No under 18. It's not good. I thought you were 23, 24. Oh, sorry, sir. I have to stop and block you. And so I got it wrong. I Just going a bit I further. I this conversation yeah. with me. I thought she was another African con artist, because that's what they have to do, pretend to be a young bird or a woman, needs to come across. But this one had a different twist, a bit more sinister. She starts off like, you know, oh, you TV man, you the TV man, show me EastEnders. Right, there's a picture of herself. And there comes another picture of herself. Look, 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 now, see, they, they, cut a long story short, this bird here, this bird here, they were later on in the conversation, they twisted that she's trying to tell me she's 15. But, you know, so Liam's gone in to see this Karen's boss at the hospital. Uh, the day after she's had the man from the mask turn up for her, fucking terrified that she had to go to her fucking sister's house, go move out of town, fucking go about 100 miles away, wherever it was, to go to her sister's house, terrified, uh, until they arrested the bloke and should have come back and give her a statement to the police. And, yeah, then the next day he goes in... Liam goes into a fucking place of work, the dirty cunt that he is. He is a dirty cunt, it's as fucking simple as that. You don't behave in the way he does. Civilised people do not behave in the way that he is behaving. He's calling me a fucking paedophile. He's never once made it, it's too late anyway, now the fucking police are fucking on him. But the uh, he, he's been... Oh, and the other day, he got served papers for harassing two women, Right? promising not to harass him again, and he's done exactly that. He's been reported by the same women, uh, um, well, definitely by one of them, but for harassing him again, and he's been reported by other women for harassment. So, you know, we are talking about a very fucking, very disturbed man. This is him harassing the fucking uh, uh, traffic warden. Um, whether I agree or not, he should have got a, tra a, a, a car. I couldn't give a fuck what happened to him, right? I couldn't give a fuck what happened to him. He couldn't have had a nicer fucking bloke because he harasses fucking people. This is a professional harasser complaining about someone else, but you got an harassment notice against this this guy, got an harassment notice against him, and so did uh, my friend Wendy, and so did Jan Wiley, disabled woman. Okay, now don't go after Jan because she doesn't want her name mentioned on here, Liam, but I'm just putting it fucking clear to people what a scumbag you fucking are. Go into a fucking woman's place of fucking work. Go into a fucking woman's place of work and trying to get her the fucking sack. Oh, we're trying to tell the the, the tell, tell them that he, she's a fucking she's having it with a paedophile. Listen, people are allowed to support and believe who they want. They don't have to fucking believe you, you dirty. Oh, yeah, they are. On a DVD of all my dad's videos, where he's lied about people, he's tripped up. He's taken the piss out of women with bald heads having alopecia. He's taken the piss out of... Oh, yeah, too right. I'm fucking taking the piss out of someone with alopecia. This woman, Victoria Sampson, she thought she could inbox me. People are getting... And start fucking giving it to me. And really start giving me some fucking sticks. So I told her, called her fucking slap it. Oh, yeah, if you want to fucking inbox me a verbal, you're getting it back. And then what he does, I get all this verbal off of people. I get called a paedophile nonce in my inbox fucking daily, right? 
And that's all right, because it's going from him. When I go back at them, they stick it on these hate sites. He's actually got these hate sites going. Here you are. I'll show you some fucking, some, some, some of the disgusting shit that they've got going on on these hate sites of theirs. All right, hang on. Let's go back in a fucking Facebook here. On a, let's go for um, uh, Pete. Hang on. Hey. There you are. There's a hate site that they've got going. Pete, let's say we rehab. You know, look, there's me up there. It's all about, yeah, uh, it's been run by them. He's trying to make it, it's not. It's all his stuff on there. Look, there's me, the thingy. All right. It's a lot of horrible stuff. They're faces, they're, they're changing face, the 